Hey everyone, Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial for you. And today we're going to be going over the different types of layers that there is. Now I've already created um, some of the layers and then at some point in another tutorial I'll just show you how to uh, pretty much make all these layers because some of them are a little bit different than others. <clears throat> so um, let's just start off by going over what each layer is called and then a little bit about it. So we'll start at the bottom down here. We're in our layer panel where it says background. So um, the uh, background pretty much is always positioned at the bottom of the stack and can't be moved. It always starts out locked, <coughs> excuse me, as you can see with this little lock signal here. And if you double click on the background layer and just hit like OK or something like that, it becomes unlocked and isn't called the background layer anymore. And every time you start a new, um, every time you start a new document, it's going to have a background layer in it. One thing to uh, note about the background layer is that it does not support transparency. So then you'll have to, you'll just have to unlock it and create it, turn it in, like I showed you before, and turn it into a layer. Um, we'll go up in the uh, um, layers panel here and come to the second one. And uh, what this is called is an adjustment layer and adjustment layers control everything beneath its layer so right now the only thing the adjustment layer is going to control is the background and the type of things that adjustment layers uh, cover are like contrast levels color and things like that now to add an adjustment layer you need to come down to this button here and click on it and then you got a bunch of different kinds of adjustments to add there or you can come up above and add an adjustment here in, as one of these buttons. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on a layer, so I'll click on the background layer, and then I'll add just add an adjustment, and this one's called Vibrance, and it will put an adjustment layer above the layer that you have selected. So <clears throat> that's what uh, adjustment layers are. We'll um, go up one, one more here, and uh, this is just called, this is just a normal layer and you can create a normal layer just by clicking on this create new layer button right here so that's how you create a regular layer so when you click on the create a new layer it's always going to put it above what you have currently selected so just remember that so what uh, a layer is able to do is use all of photoshop's drawing and shape tools um, opacity and all that stuff um, you're available to or are available to use on layers and um, tr layers can be pretty much almost anything in here and you can do pretty much everything you can do in Photoshop on a layer just a normal layer so that's the basic right there is the regular layer the next one above here is called a mask now masks are applied to layers and you do that by clicking on the add mask button which is uh, down here at the bottom this little uh, square with the circle inside it is the add uh, mask button and masks <coughs> um, create transparent areas in the image within your image without like how if you turn opacity down all the way it turns your image transparent well this mask can make certain parts of your image transparent so um, that's mainly what masks are for let's go up to here uh, where it says rectangle one and uh, this is called a shape layer and <clears throat> shape layers control vector data um, by using a vector mask and all a vector is is pretty much a shape that you're able to scale up and down without losing resolution so you can create shapes by using the shape tool here or maybe using the pen tool to make a shape or any kind of ways you can um, make shapes it'll create a shape layer for you and above is of course the uh, text layer and a text layer houses text I guess it's a uh, actually probably called a type layer and you just uh, create one of those by clicking on your text here and just clicking and it'll create your new text layer. 
So I'll uh, delete that. And uh, texture layers are pretty explanatory, and I'm sure I don't need to go in depth about those too much. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. Um, we just went over the different layers and their names. So now you know um, the layers, and you'll be able to um, communicate to other people about what they are. So thanks for watching this one, and everybody have a nice day.